Okay. One, go. Hi, this is Sylvia Griffin. I am a designer at craftyouprint.com. First, I'd like to remind you that you should go and see my last video. It's uh, episode 42. The reason for that is because I have showed you my house on wheels. So, five minutes into the video, you will see my house on wheels. So, now, today, we're going to make this card. It is cup number 79681 underscore 262. It is an iris folding pattern, but today we are going to use fabric ribbon, not paper ribbon. Okay, let's get started. As always, print yourself a pattern on cardstock. Print a other pattern on regular paper. Put it in a sleeve so you can store it for later. We will need my nifty frame and I have some double-sided foamy tabs. I need some tape, a cutter, chalk, my ribbon I want to use and make sure you have a very very sharp scissors for the fabric. My heckle fiskars, some peel off, my papers. Okay, I have my pattern. I have it cut out. Come on. As you can tell, in order to save time, I have cut it out. This is a knife you might not have seen before. You can cut on this knife, and it's quite nifty, as you can see. So you might enjoy using this to cut this out. Now, then I have used my frame, place it, take a pencil, and then I have used my heckle scissors. These are deco Fisker scissors. And now I have my pattern cut out, my frame cut out, and now I am going to take my chalk. And these are cosmetic applicators, just from the dollar store, real cheap. And you just kind of touch up the frame. There you go. Alright, I won't do the whole thing to save time. Now, I'm going to turn it around and place it on my pattern. Tape it down so it won't move. And I'm now ready to do my pattern. I will use two different colors on this one. You can do one, whatever you prefer. So you measure this, cut it off. Actually, this ribbon is so wide that I am going, see, that scissor doesn't do anything for me. I can save some ribbon. Now turn it over 
and if you want to save some tape or time, just tape it in the middle versus on each end. It's a lot of nifty tip. Make sure that that end is up here, not where you cut. Again, just tape it in the middle and you continue to cut your ribbon. Line it up with your numbers. You will see that you will have numbers from one through the end. And as you can see, this is what it looks like on your front. Now when you use a ribbon like this, I will start up here just to show you. Go. When you use a ribbon with like a gold edge or something like that, um, and make sure that the ribbon edge will be inside the pattern. Otherwise, you won't see it on the other side. Sometimes you can cut it, sometimes you will need the whole width of the pattern, so... There you go, I think I'm going to just put that in the middle to speed things up. Remove it from my plastic sheet. Remove your tape, which doesn't want to cooperate and you'll have your pattern filled in and then we will place it on my red take my pads off place it on my sheet of red paper Take my deco scissors and just kind of eyeball it and cut it out. Take your matching paper that you cut out, fold it in half, place it on your card and finish it up with decorating it. I have a happy anniversary for this one. This is a very versatile pattern. You can use it for whatever you like. This is a peel-off. I also outlined it with peel-off lines right there. Added some hearts to it and that's it. I will show you now a couple of other patterns that I have. Same pattern, different look. This is blue ribbon on a pre-cut card that I found in the dollar store. And you know, when you cut it, I just want to show you, when you have a card that's already folded and just cover it up with a piece of paper. And I use the inside to make myself a tag to match, a little heart to match, and peel-offs. This is the second one I did for you. This is also a cheap card that I had from the dollar store. Used this beautiful ribbon. Added it up here. Same thing. Used this part to fill and punch out some hearts, flowers, and you got a great card. So this is all for today. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.